What's going on everybody and welcome back to Face Ever Matter. It's your girl Jay here and in today's video I wanted to show you guys how I go from that to this huge fro, huge curly fro to slick down, slick, slick, slick down hair. Yeah, so I am natural. I am nine months in natural. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I started my hair journey April 29th of 2017. So I'm still learning different things and how to do my hair and all that type of stuff. But this was one of my go-to hairstyles when I did have relaxed short hair. So instead of the bun, it was always just kind of slick down all over, but I loved the slick hairstyle. And of course, having natural hair, your hair is gonna naturally curl up if you try to slick it down, especially using things like Eco Styler Gel, which has water in it, all that type of stuff is going to just curl right back up. So I wanted to show you guys, if you follow up with me on my Instagram and all that stuff, a lot of you were requesting that I do a video on how I get my hair so slick back like this. So I wish I would have recorded the first go round, but I took my hair down um, and washed it and just made it back, you know, big and poofy. And then I just redid it for you guys because I wanted you guys to see how I achieved my hairstyle like this. So this is one of, one of my go-to hairstyles. I'm probably gonna be wearing this more often now that my hair is long enough to kind of pull back into a full good gripping ponytail bun type of uh, type of situation so that I don't have to worry about having too many flyaways and things like that. Um, as I talk through the entire video, I will give you more details on how everything goes and how the process is and all that good stuff. So without any further ado, if you are interested in how I get my hair this slick back, just keep on watching. So pretty much, we're just gonna get started. <laughs> All right, so let me raise my camera up actually just a little bit so y'all can see the top of my head. <clears throat> so usually what I start off with is a part. All right, so I love a side part and I love my part to always be on the right side. Simply because any type of design that I have, I usually like to put it on the right side because the right side is my good side. Uh, FYI, this probably takes me approximately 45 minutes. So usually I kind of measure on my side part just to see like how short this side is gonna be. I usually like this side to be super short and then this do like the big swoop over. Okay, so now what I like to do is section my hair off into different parts. This is just gonna help me detangle my hair and just so I won't be pulling all my hair out trying to comb it at once. I never like to comb it or brush it dry, so I always like to add some moisture. It is still pretty damp, I just washed it, so. I am gonna take a little bit of my Cantu for natural hair leave-in conditioner cream. So after that, I like to take one of these, what do you call these brushes? And this just helps me detangle my hair with ease. I feel like it's less tension. I do it nice and slowly so it's less tension. The key to this hairstyle is making sure your hair is straight. If your hair is napped up or kinked up in any spot, you're not gonna get the exact results that you want or that you're probably hoping for, but you wanna make sure every section is as straight as it possibly can. Like you wanna be able to take your brush and just run through that money. Even though it look nappy, it ain't, okay? So as you can see, just easy like that, everything is detangled. Now what I am going to do, this part is essential. So next thing you want to do is take your gel. My favorite gel to use as of right now is the Eco Professional Styling Gel Olive Oil, the good old green one. This I think is the best gel to use for wash and goes. If you want to coil your hair or if you want to do this type of process. For me, I literally barely get any type of flaking whatsoever. With all the other Eco gels, I kind of get a little flaking here and there. But this green one has just been working me wonders, so I don't ever really worry about this one. So now I'm just gonna take a good amount of gel, about the same amount as I took with the conditioner, and I'm just gonna start to kind of comb it through. Now the main thing with these kind of hairstyles, doing it in sections is gonna be your best friend. You trying to do the whole shebang, you know, with, you know, just trying to do it all at once. Nah, bro. I think once my hair gets longer, I will be able to do it like that, but as of right now, Every little section needs attention and you have to give it that attention or it's not gonna be as flat as you want it. So as y'all can see in my pictures, my hair is super slick down. This is how you get it. Okay, so as you can see, I took the gel through there and now I'm just going back in with my little brush and just, and just running the brush back through. This is just to kind of coat all of the hair strands as much as possible. All right, again, I'm gonna take another good handful of gel and just kind of focus it in the front 
And now I'm gonna go in with a nice hard bristle brush, whatever you call these. And this is, I'm gonna go ahead and create my swoop. With a style like this, you really want a brush that's going to flatten it out. As you can see already, my hair is super flat on the side. You see this? Do you see this? It's already nice and flat. Brush it downward, kind of hold it, and then swoop it. That way you kind of get more of a swooping effect rather than just like a, you know, brushed back effect. So even though it is flat, you still get some type of swooping action. Now honestly, the last step of this tutorial is gonna be your best friend. So, so while that's slicking down, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bow to that side. So now we, just, we can just leave that be, just let that chill. So now, now we're gonna deal with this side. So even with this side, I do split this in half. So as you can see, I'm just using my hand to split it in half. Now the hardest section is this part, so. Now what I'm gonna do is take this one out, take this one down, and then I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm going to add the sections together. And like I said, doing this in sections is just really gonna help get all the hair that's like in the middle. Cause you know like in the middle of your head is like the hardest to like get to cooperate, you know? All right, so I am gonna split this two in half. I didn't think this part was that thick, but I should have known cause my hair is super thick. So if you wanna skip through this, you can. I'm just doing the same thing, the same exact thing. What the world is this in my hair? Oh no, I'll be right back. I got a bunch of bull in my hair and I don't know what it is, hold on. All right, same thing, just combing through. Now taking my brush again. And we're just gonna start brushing this money back. All right, now that I got that brush through nice and flat, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the bow. Connect all the sections now, just brush through everything. Put that in a bow. Now mind you, you don't have to use that much conditioner if you don't want to. I just want my hair to be moisturized under all this gel, you know what I'm saying? That's all. All right, add a little bit of conditioner because I don't want this stuff to be acting crazy. You ever be doing your hair and you just feel like the shorter the sections, the nappier it is and it's like you gotta break every smaller section into even smaller sections? All right, going through the last section, I'm just gonna comb it out. Go ahead and add that gel to this section. Get it in the front and all on the side. And guess where else? All in between. Like I said, man, you wanna make sure everything is combed through. That's how you're gonna get it really nice and slick. You see already? Getting flat. So now what I'm doing, I'm just combing. I'm just combing, you know, the hair backward. It's not attached to anything yet, so. Okay, so up to this point, now I'm gonna remove the bow. All right, so now that we got that last section, now I can just take the brush, my little natural hair brush, and just comb through everything collectively. And as I'm combing it, I'm kind of combing it into my hand, like into the ponytail grip. All right, so now with this part, to get it really nice and flat, I'm gonna take a little bit more gel. I know you're probably thinking like, well, good day, but oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do to get that hair flat. All right, I'm gonna take my hard bristle brush again, and this is where I'm gonna start to create my personal little swoop that I want in my hair. Like I said in the beginning, guys, I like this part to be kind of deep. So I'm just gonna take this comb and just kind of style it real quick. Now this of course all depends on how high you want your bun, how low you want your bun. I want my bun this time to be pretty low. And I really wanna make sure my hair is coated like right in here because in all due respect, my hair is not, the hair that's sitting up here is not technically connecting all the way to the lower part of my bun. So with that reason, I have to make sure that's coated, you know, properly. And then when you're ready, you add your bow. So this is naturally what my bun looks like. It's partially tucked. 
so it looks pretty small. But my, my natural bun is kind of pretty small anyway. So now what I'm gonna do is take a little spoolie. This is just an eyebrow spoolie. And now what I do is take a little bit of gel just to the front hairs. And this is kind of where I start to customize the front. So I kind of like a little swoopage action going like right here in the front, but it kind of like parts off with my front swoop, if that makes any sense. You see what I'm saying? Like I make a swoop here, but I kind of part it. So like it's naturally separating. And also this little spoolie helps me see what hairs aren't completely connected with the gel because when it dries, it can break apart and look kind of weird. So I try to make sure that's combed through so it lays flat together so it could dry, you know, connect it. Cause you don't want it to be like this and it dries and it's just sitting like that. So you want to make sure before it dries to mash it all down. My sideburns is one of my favorite parts of doing my hair. It's just like a little accent that you add. So now what I'm gonna do is, just to give my bun something, you know, something, I do take a little fake piece of hair. This hair was actually from Her Given Hair. I reviewed their hair clip extensions um, a few months back, and they're like all overhead clipping extensions. They're beautiful, I love them. I'll add a few pictures here. Today I just wanted to add like one or two clips in my hair just for the sake of having like a bigger bun just because my bun is naturally so small right now all right so this is probably one of the smaller ones usually i was using like one of the longer ones so you can kind of tell the difference but i'm using one of the smaller ones just because i want it to be like really realistic i don't want it to look like i got a fake bun sitting on the back of my head so i don't clip these on i just kind of if you can see what i'm doing i just kind of sit it around and i wrap it around the little bun area. Holding that in place, I pull the hair together, and then this is where I start to make the bun. I try to make it kind of as bushy as I can and not really exact, simply because I want it to look like my hair. Then I'm gonna take a bow and do what you would normally do and just wrap it around, just to secure the clips and the hair itself. So there I got like a little, like a bigger bun, you know. Okay, so what I was talking about earlier about this last step is going to be your best friend. Now with the style like this, I think it's better to do it the night before just so your hair can literally dry and mold and stay. So get you a do-rag, get you some type of hair wrap that you can tie down. You can make it as tight as you want type of wrap. Do one of the silk wraps, something that's gonna stay this is something I probably got, like a, I've had this for so many years. I used this when I had relaxes, so I've had this for so long. Take one of these little wrap thingies, place it down. What I like to do when I have the bun is I kind of form it around my bun, tucking it underneath. This is where I'm gonna make it as tight as I want. Try to avoid tying it into a bow up top because you don't want any dents. So usually what I do is I kind of twist it and then I'm gonna tuck it. Now you can make it into a bow if you want to. So like this for example, if you wanna take it and make your bow, but sit it like on your forehead. Like don't sit it on your hair because that's gonna leave the dent. But just take it, tie it into a little bow, do whatever you gotta do, make sure it's not on the hair. And as I can feel, it's super flat, super tight, and it's gonna hold. Now, I don't worry too much about the bun right now. If it messes up, I can fix it. My whole situation is I want this right here to be like mad flat. If you want, huh. I'm not recommending you do it, but I've seen people do it. The wig glue, the got to be glue, this stuff dries and keeps stuff down so hard. I've seen people actually use this on their hair. Now, if you're natural and you're not really into chemicals, it's because this has like several different types of alcohol in it. I would not recommend using this on your hair, but if you don't care, use it. This will hold your hair down. But if you're natural, just use some gel, call it a day, and just tie it down. So this is what I'm showing you, just tie it down. And, um, but yeah guys, I'll check in with you guys in the morning if it is in the Lord's will. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all later.